Me? <laughs> You'll never be able to stop me, for I am! <laughs> I'm just waiting for him to write the next line. Don't break character. Right, right, sorry. Playwrights like to let their characters talk and then write down the conversations. Maybe we can come up with better dialogue and make him think he's the one writing it. That's a great idea. What should we talk about? Hmm. I have no idea. Oh, how do we know he's even listening to us anymore? Maybe he's in the bathroom. We've just got to have faith, man. All right. Let's talk about... Politics. Ah, uh, no one wants to hear about that. All right. Uh, how about religion? <laughs> Anybody who has come to the theater has either given up on their religion entirely or is so religious that they'll get offended either way. <laughs> you got any better ideas? Hey, do you mind watching this for a moment? Thanks. <laughs> well, we could talk about us! Whoa! <laughs> Look, uh, you're nice and all, but we just met. I don't no. really see you that way. No, I mean us, like our place here. Like, why are we here? What do you mean, why are we here? What does that matter to you? It doesn't matter at all. I'm just curious. I believe we are here to serve the playwright. And if the playwright's happy, then I'm happy. Why else would we be here? He created us, didn't he? I guess so. I've just been thinking about this playwright a lot lately. And I mean, what playwright would write and create such horrific things like, like the Holocaust, and babies dying, and school shootings? What do you know about school shootings? You were just created Two pages ago! No, but that's the thing, Adolf Bin Laden. Please don't call me that. <laughs> I don't think that's true. I don't think we just popped out of thin air. I think we evolved from mere thought to a fully fleshed character. <laughs> if we evolved from a mere thought, don't you think the playwright could have thought me up a little more attractive? I mean, my front teeth are two feet long for crying out loud. All right. Can I call you Jerry? Why Jerry? Because Super Wonderful Woman is the dumbest fucking name I've ever heard! Dumber than Adolf Bin Laden? Uh, what would you prefer? Darth Bad Guy? I don't know! <laughs> call me... Chris. <laughs> okay. Chris. All right, Jerry. <laughs> I think we should just be thankful to the playwright for creating us at all. I mean, he could have just as easily not created us. The, the only reason we're able to question his existence is because he allows us to. But what if that mentality is the problem? I mean, if you're just being good because someone is watching, then you're not actually good at all. You should want to be good because it's the right thing to do, not because you're trying to please some playwright that, well, 
may or may not even exist. Whoa! <laughs> may not exist? Where did that come from? Just think about it. We really only believe he exists, but nowhere is there actual definitive proof. I mean, we can point to signs here and there, but nowhere is there cold, hard evidence that he exists. Yes, and there's no evidence that he doesn't exist. Yes, <laughs> and that just proves my point. He may totally exist. I hope he does. I just don't know. Yes, and you just came up with this? Yes, and another thing. Wait. Yes, and. <laughs> yes, and. Yes, and. Yes, and. Yes, and. Oh my god, Chris! What? Yes, and. Yes, and. Yes, and what? <laughs> this isn't a play at all. It's long form improv. <laughs> Okay, now you've totally lost me. The first rule of improvisation is to never say no, but to instead say yes and to whatever your partner just said. That way the show keeps going, even when you and your partner have no idea what's going to be said next. I don't know what I'm going to say. You don't know what you're going to say. But it's all improv. It's never been a play with a strict beginning, middle, and end. No one in this theater knows what's going to happen next. I don't. You don't. This lady definitely doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> this lady? Does she look like she knows? Of course she doesn't know. <laughs> this is the first and the last time we are ever going to say these lines. Even if we repeat ourselves later on, the context, the circumstances, nothing will be the same. No, but that can't be. Uh, Jerry. You're scaring me. You're telling me everything I've ever known has been a lie, and that this playwright has been leaving us up to our own devices this whole time? I don't know, but what I do know, or at least what I think I know, is that all the world may be a stage, but you and I, we're not merely players. We are the playwright. We are the playwright? Jerry, when have you ever created an entire play out of nothing? Don't you think you're being a little harsh on him? You know what? If he really is all powerful, then I think he can handle a little constructive criticism. And while we're on the subject of questioning our entire existence as we know it, explain this to me. If the audience enjoys the play tonight, they'll praise the playwright. But if you and I put on a bad performance, oh, suddenly he has nothing to do with it? Don't you think if he created us, he should take some of the blame for when we mess up? Or is he only involved when we do good? It's not fair! Jerry! <laughs> this is truly revolutionary thinking. I know, Chris. We are the first people in existence to ever question if there is a higher power. <laughs> I don't know, Jerry. I really hope there is a playwright. I mean, the thought that we're all alone here is pretty terrifying. Terrifying? I think it's exhilarating. Endless possibilities. And we're not alone. We have each other. We need a name for our movement. Hmm. Oh, how about Playtheism? Playtheism, yes, I love it. <laughs> we will be Playtheists. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, are you sure about this? That's the thing, Chris. I don't know. I'm just kind of thinking out loud at this point. And what I think is that maybe we don't get a sequel. Maybe this is all we get. And we might not know how or when the play is going to end, but neither does anyone else. So we should just write it the best we can before our pens run out of ink. Wow! Did you write that line yourself? Yes, I did. <laughs> it still needs work. <laughs> Maybe the 
playwright wrote it like this so we would think it's improv. Then again, that all sounds way too intelligent for a male playwright to have written. <laughs> what if it's a female playwright? No female would ever write such poor dialogue. <laughs> all right. This has all been too much for one ten minute scene. I'm going to exit stage right. But wait, there's so much to discuss, so much to question. How do we know there's only one playwright? What if there are multiple playwrights? How do we know there's only one play? Are we the only characters? All oh, this is so exciting and so frustrating. <laughs> <laughs>